I recently did a large refactor of some code where I switched from xState for managing state to RxJS. This was maybe an hour or two worth of work, and because of the guardrails TypeScript provides for me, when I finally did run this code, it just worked first try. I know the meme is to be suspicious of code that works on the first try, but when I'm working with good types, a lot of the time I'd be more surprised if it didn't work first try. With proper typing, we can have a great deal more confidence in our code. The downside of TypeScript is that sometimes to get this strong typing, you often need to know a trick or two. And I think it can be quite frustrating to properly type things until you've spent quite a long time being frustrated with TypeScript. You need to know these little tricks because if you don't, things like this are going to happen. And if you work around it in a way that ignores typing information, you're losing some of that protection, confidence, and improved developer experience that TypeScript provides. Anyway, it occurred to me while working in this file that there are a few good examples of the sort of everyday weird TypeScript things you often need to do. Like why declare a const as const and what's going on with this thing and this thing and this thing. I thought it might be interesting or useful to just make my way down the file and explain the point of some of the more interesting TypeScript things going on. So let's start with this. As const is something I utilize all the time, and the basic idea is that it forces the type to be specifically the values supplied. In this case, you can see that the type of the directions array is a union of the specific keys I provided. But if I remove as const, the type changes such that the array could contain any string at all. This const as const business makes sense if you think about it. Because although we declare the directions array as a const to begin with, meaning we can't reassign it, it doesn't mean we can't still modify the values in that array. Using as const indicates that we do not intend to modify this array. I use this same concept later in this file. Here the mode has a union type of walk and swim, so I need as const here to type the value specifically as the string walk, not just a generic string. The next perhaps out of the ordinary thing here is this type of directions number type. I want this direction value to be typed as an observable of any of the values from my directions array. However, if I just use type of directions, the type would be an observable of an array containing those values, which is not what I want. I want the type of accessing one of the array values by a number index. For example, accessing index zero would give me t, index one would give me tr, and so on. If I set the type up in this way, the resulting type will be an observable of any individual string that is in the directions array. Next up, we have this map of directions to offsets, which represent x and y values. We've already seen this now, but rather than treating the values as an array of numbers, which they are, I am specifically using this type to specify that this is a tuple containing two numbers. A tuple is basically an array with a set amount of specific values at specific indexes. If I wanted, I could also have a tuple that captures information about the Z coordinate like this. For this code, the keys by default would be an array of strings, which means that when I loop through the keys, I won't have proper typing information on the values. By typing this as an array of the keys of player actions, I get the appropriate typing information from that object. In this next section, there are two kind of interesting things. First, I want to type this player as whatever the player property from the player context object is typed as. So this is just a way to look up that specific type. We can see the underlying type for player in player context is this player type. And so that is the type that will be used here. Then for the direction, I want this to be the type of whatever values this direction observable emits. I don't want it to be typed as an observable of those values, which is what it is by default. So I use observed value of to extract the type out from what the observable emits. There are of course some other things going on in this file, but I think that covers the out of the ordinary things. If you have any questions about anything else or perhaps some hot tips of your own, feel free to drop a comment. And let me know if you liked this general format. There's plenty of other files in this project I could do similar walkthroughs of. As always, a like or subscribe before you go would be greatly appreciated, and I hope to see you back here again.